calling it a community gardening hub. Uh, the idea is it's a one-stop shop for all your gardening needs. So as well as uh, people coming up here and buying plants, they can also come and do training courses or we put on events to try and um, create a bit more community in Easton. So this was the old railway track when there was a, when there was a second station at Easton. This was up to head height with bramble and perennial weeds and buddleia. And so we spent about a month chopping all that back. The station generally was very run down. Not many people were using train service because there was a lot of fear, I suppose, of coming up here. A lady was saying she never let her daughter go to school on the train. But since we've been up here, she's let her start coming up on her own, which is a really mm. nice uh, positive. The garden down here is going to be our food garden area. We're doing the old uh, favourite of growing potatoes in uh, car tyres. With the credit crunch, people have got a bit less money in their pocket. There's a massive interest in growing your own food these days because of some of the food scares that we had in the past. And people are particularly getting interested in organics and local food that's got you no know, food miles attached to them. Uh, but all the allotments in Eastern and the surrounding area have all got massive waiting lists on, around about 8 to 16 month waiting lists. Mm. So rather than wait that long, people can come up and start learning the skills up here. And that starts with planting your first seed and then falling in love with the whole process. We reckon in the first year we had a thousand people up here doing volunteering or coming to our events or coming to our training courses. So we've already touched the lives of a thousand people. You know, never mind about the people who walk past here and, and see a nicer area than we had before. It's just amazing to think what, what can be done through um, hard work and commitment from a small group of people.